Hey folks, Dan Frio here in the Mortgage Update, and today is October 15th, and if you follow my channel, you're going to see this number is not good news. Okay, so let me tell you a bit, little bit about myself, I'll say it real quick, because people watch this every day. My name is Dan Frio. I'm a mortgage advisor in Chicago. I've been doing this for 31 years. You can also hear me on uh, WYLL Radio in Chicago weeknights at their weekday evenings. From 7:30 to 8 p.m., and you can also hear me on WIND Chicago on Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. So let's get to it. Um, if you follow my channel, you know that this what we follow mainly right here is the mortgage-backed securities market. We don't follow the S&P. We don't follow the U.S. Treasuries. We don't follow anything other than this. This is the, the, the uh, tool or vehicle that is tied directly to mortgage rates. Okay, so down, when you have a down, this is the price of the bond. As prices go down, rates go up. As prices go up, rates go down. So we always want to see this going up in a perfect world because rates will be coming down, 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 down. So what happened today? Well, it's a weird market. And if you listen yesterday, you said... You might have heard me say that I'm not locking my clients. I'm waiting because I'm see I'm I'm thinking there's going to be a pullback. Okay, we got an alert this morning, and this morning opened up really bad. Um, MBSs were down 23, but they came back throughout the day. So I'm still saying I'm going against the curve here. I'm not saying to lock. I'm holding off on my clients, uh, especially those that have a longer, maybe a 30-day uh, window for locking or closing. Let me go over why. Okay, so let's go into this. Here's one of the things I follow. Not a lot of people follow this. And why do I follow this? Well, I was an angel investor in a logistics company, and I learned a lot. What a logistics company is, is it, it's shipping. It's shipping products all across the country. And that is a big signal of what's to come. So if you start seeing trucks and shipments starting to go down or decrease, that's a great indicator on what's happening in basically in the whole country. So I learned that years ago, and I've, I've used that actually to my advantage. So you're going to see here, um, right through here, there's a case freight shipping index. And the number came out today, and we just hit our 10th straight month of a slowdown in that market. <clears throat> this is getting overseen or overlooked by most people a lot of people are overlooking this and then it goes through other things and then we're also expecting gdp to go down and if you're following this this is to come trust me on this one i've been doing this for 30 years um, i know what's coming here most people are ignoring this this vehicle so what happened today that, that's really pushing the market? Basically, if you look at a lot of these details, is it's, the earnings season started out pretty good. Um, so it started pushing money into the stock markets. Then you see these all this news coming out. Investors are loading up on risky stocks. <clears throat> Guys, I'm still, I, I lived through the last crash, and this is a lot of the same things that I've noticed. I've noticed from back then. Are happening now um, you have a, a lot of people in real estate which is good and that helps the markets but um, some areas are getting a little bit overblown with that stock markets are overlooking a lot of things you have just complete just momentum here um, but one of the biggest things too right now that people are looking at is brexit okay and I won't go into those in great detail because I don't want to bore you to death for a half hour but you know, the Brexit's going on, the China uh, trade wars with Trump is, isn't is as solid as they're saying it's going to be. The freight index uh, barometers are starting to slow down. You have manufacturing slowing down. So I see this rally in mortgage-backed securities. You know, again, prices are going um, down pushing up rates again. So what happens is when you start reading these, people are getting into risky stocks. 
Okay, so if you're buying into stocks, where are you taking the money from? Well, you're taking it from bonds and mortgage-backed securities. So you're pushing money out of bonds into the stock market. As you push money out of bonds, there's less demand, thus creating a lower price, thus creating higher rates. That's what's going on right now. However, I'm still saying on the sidelines, stating, I think this is short-lived. I think we're going to see a little bit of comeback. And here's what's happening in tomorrow's opening. It's saying the market's going to open. If it were to open right now, it opened down 28. Okay, so you're going to start seeing profit-taking in stocks. And I think a lot of this information is going to get absorbed into the smart people out in Wall Street and saying, you know what, we better start getting a little cautious and balancing our portfolios, meaning push some more money back into bonds. Also, you have the Fed sitting on the sideline. Inflation numbers are okay. Um, so that gives them a little more room for easing rates. You have uh, no, not much pressure in regards to wages, and thus in inflation. You have manufacturing starting to weaken. You have tr uh, shipments of products starting to weaken. So tag this video and look at it in four months. Let's see where we're at. Let's see what my if my predictions came right. And um, if I'm a betting man, I'm going to bet on myself because I've done this a long, long time. So again, let's go over this. We're going to hit we hit some uh, specific levels today. So all these little lines and everything make you know make sense to those who follow. We follow these two charts right here. This is the Fibonacci levels. This is a ceiling and a floor. So we bounce between here, and that's in a normal market. That's what's going to happen. Then you have 25-day moving averages. That's this orange line here, 50-day moving averages, and so forth. So we watch those and see, where are we? So you can see we came down and we bounced off that 100-day moving average. We hit here, and we hit the top of the 25-day moving average. So we're starting to move into there. Again, what I see coming up might not be tomorrow. Might not be Friday, but I'm predicting that the China trade isn't going to be as great as it is. A lot of these manufacturing numbers and shipment numbers and inflation numbers are going to come back, and people are going to say, mm, I don't know if I want to jump in these risky stocks right now. If I'm a betting man, I'm going to bet that the interest rates are going to ease back up and we're going to test these levels. So wait and see. Um, but that's what I'm doing with my clients. I am not locking right now. I'm on the sideline. I'm a little bit uh, different than these who follow the, the trends here, but I've, I've lived through this. I've learned. I'm taking that experience and hopefully putting it to use for you. So that's why I call myself a mortgage advisor. So if I can be of any help to you, please reach out to me. I am a mortgage uh, advisor. I can help people throughout the country. Uh, the best way to get me is call me at 844-775-LOAN, and that's 5626 or email me at Dan, I'm sorry, take that back, D Frio, which is F R I O, at parksidelending.com. I'm going to post in the next couple of days. I just came across there, or just became licensed for a credit company that I am personally using. It's awesome. It does credit repair, credit counseling, identity theft life insurance, wills, trusts, all at a fraction of the cost that you're paying for everything else. So I use it personally. I'm going to introduce this to you. If you if you need some credit repairs, uh, you need credit monitoring, you just want to learn about credit, it's a, it's a phenomenal system. And I'm going to post a video in the next couple of days about that. Hopefully you look into that as well. But again, if you need any of my assistance, please reach out to me. Other than that, I will see you tomorrow, same time, same place. God bless. Have a great night.